something good now. A Hennessy man is thankful for a second opinion and also the Metro doctors who saved his leg. As Mike Glover explains, he was first told he'd have to undergo a second amputation. Artery and vein blockage can lead to all types of health problems and in the worst case scenarios, amputation. So unfortunately here in Oklahoma, amputation is still on the rise, unlike every other state in the, in the United States. Three years ago, Jorge Ortega had his right leg amputated due to severe blood and oxygen blockage as a result of diabetes. In every 15 minutes, I mean 24 hours a day, the pain come back. After a year, Mr. Ortega developed a wound on his left leg and doctors recommended amputation. And finally, I told the doctor I think Hennessy you got to send me to specialty. That specialist was at the cardiovascular health clinic. Even when it seems that all hope may be lost, which was like what happened with Mr. Ortega, he was in a dire situation where he had multiple levels of vascular disease, literally from the belly button to the toe. Mr. Ortega's condition was so severe, he had reached the place of gangrene. His toes had already died, so we couldn't bring those back, but we prevented him from getting an major amputation below the knee. You know, we're trying to bring the newest and greatest and cutting edge technologies to be able to save, uh, save limbs and save lives. Mr. Ortega has been through a lot, but ultimately he's grateful for the work the doctors have done. To make my blood flow. Mr. Ortega sees the signs of life in his leg because it's warm. All these hair that was gone and I noticed then this is blood flow. He's almost completed his treatment and looking forward to the rest of his life with his leg. I'm happy. Now again, doctors say the best results come from early testing and most procedures can be done right here in the office. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma's own News 9. Early testing.